have great news. Wow. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and Zoe and my mom. Welcome back to the weekly vlog. We are in the thick of party planning. Still, the big Malibu Barbie Zaya seventh birthday party. Get caught up on my previous vlogs if you haven't already because we've already done a lot, but we're still in the thick of it. We still have a lot to do. We are joined here today for a meeting to discuss further details. Chef Tony is going to do her Chef Tony thing and she's going to present her food catering plan for the party. I hear that she is equipped <laughs> with drawings and templates and Pinterest boards. So let's hear it. So I took your ideas, you know, hot dog, beach vendor theme. I was oh. trying to do like, if you're on the pier, yeah, by pier the beach, food. pier food. Pier fair food, not carnival food. It's not carnival, not it's not fair. Food. It's a very specific niche right. that I don't know what it's called. So the main menu item is, is a hot dog bar, but not just any hot dog bar and over the top hot dog bar with dozens of toppings. It's kind of like the taco bar thing, but for hot dogs. You know, of course we got chili, cheese, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, but we got pickle relish. We have maybe some corn relish. We have bacon bits. We have shredded cheese, onions, red onions. You know, because this is for adults too. I mean, you know, adults don't want to come to a kid's party and eat kids' food. Kids, they get their plain hot dog with their mustard and their ketchup and they go about their business. But the adults, you can make you the most fantastic hot dog you've ever seen. I think we should definitely we have some vegan weenie, if there's such a thing. Yeah, there is. Ve vegan weenies, but basically they're gonna be put in the chafing dish. But around that, we also have a pretzel display. Pretzel <laughs> display. I told you I didn't like the hanging pretzels, right? I told you no, that. You, you told me that. She doesn't like the hanging pretzels. You don't like the hanging pretzels. What do you plan to do with the pretzels? Here's my full plan. Okay. You tell me what you don't like. So here's the deal. Let me show you my drawing. I started off with the rainbow fruit skewers, but they're not just going to be laid on a platter. They're going to be done in a, <laughs> a, a watermelon hat, and they're stuck into the watermelon hat. So everything is like grab and go. It's not, we don't want people, you know, fumbling with trays and stuff. And then I have my pretzel display, which is a cute little DIY project to do with PVC pipe and paint it gold or whatever. And then we have the three metal tiers. But what I plan to Please hold. We have received a note from, from the birthday girl <laughs> to Mommy and Grammy and Zoe. Mommy, maybe we can make Barbie cake pops for the party that look like this. <laughs> Zoe? I think that's good. Right. <laughs> okay, Zion wants Barbie cake pops. We already got custom sugar cookies. So I don't know if we need cake. We got custom sugar cookies plus a cake. The girl wants cake pops. She doesn't care about churros, but she did like the churros. We did a churros test last night. So this, the three tiered metal tray holds cheese and chocolate and pink icing for the churros. This is a churro, the dips. They're in little clear deli cups and they're stacked up here. So you just grab one. I thought about doing cones for the churros, but then that involves buying another thing. And I really like this example where they just put the churros in food safe bags. Something more like that on display. We put it in the basket. So you're so. having the churro dip. They're not pre-dipped. No. You grab a you cup. You just grab dip. a cup and you dip it. So this was my thought process, like, because I was thinking if we had churros and pretzels, you could dip a salty pretzel into chocolate. You could dip a cinnamon yes. churro into chocolate. They're all in the same way. Also, I was also thinking about the hot dog nacho fries. It's kind of all the same toppings, but you either put it on a hot dog, you put it on nachos, or you put it on fries. Exactly my plan. Okay. Exactly my plan. So we got <laughs> fruit, pretzels, dips, and yeah, churros. Fruit, dips, pretzels, dips are churros, and dips. the dips. D dips are right in between the two. Then we have whatever containers we choose for the chips. We could do the paper bags. We could also do white boats that the chips are in that you could also make nachos with. The chips for nachos. And then there's the hot dogs and buns. And we could switch the order around. That's a chafing dish. And then these are the condiments for hot dogs and or nachos. All the things I just mentioned. And I thought we would use the tiered stand from your pantry to set things up. I'll show you an example. And then we have the Hot, the little three container crock pot that has melted cheese, chili, and beans, also for the hot dogs. So everything for the hot dogs and nachos are mm -hmm. together. And then you had asked for corn. Do we need corn? Did I ask for corn? You said corn cobs. I think I was just throwing things out there. It's <laughs> always so like, please yes. no corn. She's yes. shaking her head like, please. Mark, that's that's a lot of little plastic cups. Zoe is um, chief of eco <laughs> preservation. Using glass, babe. Okay. Pink laundry clips. 
we should have some from Zaya's shower. But yeah, I don't know if we still have those. Um, so we put it like that, but then we do more of the display. And then also, there's no such thing as pink paper hot dog cups. These things right here, you can order from Etsy. But look what they did. They took some paper and they just glued it to the side. Yeah. Just one side of it. We were talking about stamping and... Oh, yeah. You know what um, I mean? Just put a strip of pattern paper glue. Because we were also looking for the, those, like, like, the little sleeves. Leaves that you get a pretzel in at Auntie Anne's mm -hmm. for the pretzels, or just the little pieces of wax paper where you have like the basket with paper in it. Okay, so you'd rather do that instead of hanging pretzels. I like the sleeve. Something about the hanging pretzels it looks unappetizing to me. Okay. Like Definitely open scary. air, it's not keeping it warm. It's not, I don't know, it's just something weird about it, just hanging them up like that. Those dishes. I was saying, I think a heat lamp is the next entertaining supply that I need to invest in. Cause I have the chafing dishes where you can have stuff in the container being heated up from the bottom. But if I had heat lamps going down from the top for certain things that you want to keep warm. Like this? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like this, so if I'm serving, you know, fries, hot dogs, whatever it is, Pretzels will keep it's another way to keep sure. stuff warm and have it cutely on display. So, so far, Zoe and I have been doing all the planning and shopping without my mom. So I just kind of want to show her what we've got so far so we can all be on the same page. I've been compiling everything in here in the glam room from all our Amazon orders and stuff. So you guys have already seen a lot of this stuff in the other vlog, but I did get two new things today. This is a pretty good representation of the color scheme. This is the Fun Boy Special Malibu Barbie Collab Beach Towel. I just bought one because it was kind of expensive, <laughs> but it says Barbie right there, but it's just like a cute kind of like 70s Malibu Barbie design. And this is pretty much the color scheme, the pink, orange, yellow, blue. And I would like to have multiple of these laid out. So maybe Fun Boy will send us some, we're still waiting. But I also ordered one of the matching floaties. It's like the big inner tube one and it's got the same pattern on it. So again, maybe we can get a few more of these to put in the pool. We just kind of got a lot of random stuff. I'm not sure if we showed y'all these little things that we found in the dollar spot at Target, which we thought could be used for multiple things, but I'm mainly thinking about the Barbie boutique display for the little Barbie accessories to choose from or to have in between like the food setup. We thought about getting some of Zaya's Barbies and stuff and having the Barbies like posing next to the food or sitting next to the food so they could be sitting. They kind of look like little bleachers or something multiple uses for that. Our other Target haul, I found another pink flamingo floaty. I had already ordered one from Amazon. Zaya and I's matching little skirts that we might wear and we might tie dye them to make them even more custom with the color scheme. And we already have our Malibu Barbie t-shirts that I showed y'all to go with it. And then we got just a pack of palm leaf garlands. I got two of the pink iridescent little backdrop tinsel things. I grabbed the palm leaf napkins to mix into the pink napkins that we got. And then this little hair clip for Zaya to wear maybe because it's hot pink Barbie-licious. This is the doll, I already showed y'all, but this is the doll that's going on top of her cake. And then sunglasses to go with party favors. A 12 pack of water wings for pool safety and they just so happen to kind of be on the color screen. What are water wings? You know those um, arm floaty thingies for kids? We got these at the Dollar Tree because we thought they could be helpful for multi-tier things if we cover them with something. Just for all types of food setup and everything else. And the Barbie boutique, we also got this kind just for more setup stuff. So I brought in these containers from the garage, which hold all the leftover stuff from every party I've ever had, basically. So I want to look through and see like if there's stuff in here that we can use for this party. Like we have these marquee letters that spell out Zaya. These little buckets. This is from her third birthday party. Then we've got stuff from last year. Oh yeah, we definitely were gonna use those pink streamers, not the red ones. This is left over from Galentine's. Okay, so here's what we've got so far as far as party outfits. Zaya has the exact same shirt and skirt. This is from the children's section. I just got it in a size large and these are from Amazon. Zaya said she wanted me to match her. She said she wanted me to match, so that's why I'm doing this. But I'm thinking to make this cuter, I would probably crop the t-shirt at the very least or maybe do some sort of front tie situation. And then I thought it would be cute to do the fringe beading DIY. I could do it on the bottom of the shirt, but I don't know if that would look weird if I tried to wear it with this skirt. I don't even know if this skirt is really the move. I thought it might be cute in theory, but I'm not completely sold on it. But I could also do the fringe on the sleeves where it's like beaded fringe, you know what I mean? With beads that are 
are like colorful like in these colors so I know I want to do something to the shirt to add razzle dazzle and then the skirt again I'm not super sold on even wearing the skirt at all but we also thought about tie-dyeing the skirt with the party colors to just add that little extra flair to it but the white is also cute because it picks up the white in the logo I'm trying to decide I think maybe having the shirt tied up with the fringe on the sleeves might be the move and then for shoes I have these platform flip-flops I used to have they were originally a Gucci design but I had the Steve Madden dupes of those pink plasticky like super Barbie looking shoes that were trending a while back I'll put a picture here I used to have those but I gave them away because I bought them not for a costume I bought them just to wear them in everyday life but I didn't like the way they looked on me so I got rid of them but they would have been perfect like those shoes would have been perfect for this Barbie look but I feel like these are also pretty on theme for Malibu Barbie so I feel like these will work and they match the color of the shirt for Zaya shoes I still need to get her some and then for like more accessories I'm probably gonna wear a blonde wig you know because I gotta be blonde for the Barbie party and then of course like do my makeup and stuff but then sunglasses jewelry like what else can we add Zaya already has sunglasses and she has her little butterfly hair clip and she has like a little birthday girl clip too so she's pretty good on accessories I'm not sure how Zaya's hair is gonna be I might get her hair braided and maybe she can get beads that match everything in her hair all the pink barbielicious stuff that I own just in general like that's kind of just my general aesthetic and I've done a lot of pink stuff in my life. Pink related themes and costumes and stuff. We did dress up as Barbies for Halloween already. So I already own a lot of stuff like this little bag, for example. Not that I need a bag for a party at my house, but I'm sure I can find plenty of stuff to go with this look. It's Tuesday, March 21st. Grammy is here getting started on some of the DIY cricketing projects that we want to do for the party. And this is for the placemats, the confetti Malibu Barbie placemats that are going to decorate the dining room table. So they're clear and you just typically put confetti in them, but this is going to be Malibu Barbie themed confetti. So I have the word Barbie printed out to be like a little over an inch. And then I'm doing some yellow suns and green isn't one of the colors. So we're going to do blue palm trees and I have a purple somewhere, purple sunglasses. So she's cutting out these little tiny pieces of cardstock paper that is gonna act as the confetti. So the little tiny Barbie logos are being cut out now. Then to fill it in, I got this Barbie theme. It's got pink and yellow and orange in it. Chucky glitter. Awesome chipboard for some of the food signs. So in the Barbie font, we're gonna have nachos, hot dogs, churros. Pretzels. And pretzels. They're gonna be about this big. That's about 11 inches across. And I'm going to make a little stand for them using some dowels and some wood that I bought. So they'll be kind of standing up in front of the food. And we're gonna paint them using Barbie themed paint colors. And chipboard is basically like Barbie. Ikea cardboard wood stuff. I mean, it's basically like a thick sturdy cardboard so it'll be able to stand up on its own and then there's a special blade for the Cricut to cut through it so we got that in order to cut it you're supposed to tape it down with masking tape we don't have masking tape we have painters tape I feel like I it's, it's the, the same, same thing. thing pretty much feels like masking tape just so it doesn't move around while you're cutting okay so our first sheet of Barbie confetti is finally done cutting it took a long time to cut all these little things now let's see about actually getting it off of here because I'm a little concerned so in theory, if I just peel this. Oh, listen to the ASMR. Wow. So technically there's a little piece in the B, the B and the E, but I feel like they'll kind of come out on their own. You just spatula it off. Oh, maybe not. Gotta be careful not to crunch it up. So like technically we should poke out those little extra pieces in there so that it's like this. But we would have to get that little tiny tool and poke out those little tiny pieces on every single one. We'll see about that. So far so good. Okay, so we have the next confetti design cutting now. It's little suns. In the meantime, Zoe is peeling the Barbie ones. This is very, very <laughs> intricate font. See, I, I, I'm afraid I'm gonna break them. Be careful, it's a little tedious. We actually have two Cricut machines going. This is my mom's that she brought over that she's using with her laptop and then it's a full-blown Cricut factory in here because we got my Cricut going in here with this computer trying to figure out how to do the one on the cardboard. Cutting. 
chipboard. And of course you want to test it on my Cricut. You got the maker. I don't have the maker. Oh, yours can't do this? I don't know, but I got the, we're going with the top of the line. It looks like it's working. Learning a new Cricut skill. I was gonna say, you guys always are asking us for Cricut tutorials. We need the Cricut tutorials ourselves. <laughs> There's real professional Cricut tutorials already on the internet, and that's what we use. So y'all need to just go watch those. You don't want us to be making a tutorial, because we don't know. It literally says an hour remaining. It's gonna take an hour to cut this out. It doesn't look like like it though. I think like, it's gotta make like 12, one of 12 passes. Oh, it's gotta cut through it 12 times to get all the way through it? Why don't they just make a stronger blade? Mayday, mayday. No. We thought we were doing it right, but it's cutting it wrong. It's cutting it wrong. We gotta start it over. Like I said, don't ask us to make a tutorial because we do not know what we're doing. It's supposed to be all one. I thought I told it to attach it. Plus it was going off the page. Oh yeah, no, that's all wrong. Okay, that's why we have plenty of chip <laughs> It's going off the page and it's supposed to be one continuous cursive word but it's right. cutting each letter individually so it's not going to be connected all right take two and so far so good this is how it's supposed to look all one piece like you see it's already fully cut out but it has to go back over it 12 times to actually cut all the way through the cardboard stuff oh it's already on the fourth pass it says 26 minutes remaining i guess the way we had it set up the first time since it was wrong it was going to take even longer but the correct way it looks like it only takes 30 minutes instead of like over an hour. Okay, so here's how the pretzels little cardboard sign turned out. Turned out pretty good. I think, you know, this was our first one, well, technically our second one, so definitely a learning curve to it, but I think it'll be cute once it's painted and it's all put together to where it can like stand up by itself. And then we cut out the one for nachos. So if I can get this one off of here in one piece. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. So here's the nachos one. They're a little bit flimsy, but I think they're just sturdy enough for what we're trying to do. So we have two more that we need to cut out. And then Zoe is gone for the day now, but she made good progress with the little confetti. So we have the Barbie logo, palm trees, suns. The blue things are little sunglasses. And then we have the orange flowers, which we'll have to keep working on tomorrow, or maybe I'll finish it tonight. We just got our groceries delivered. I is home from school, but Zoe also planted my new replacement snake plant since the other ones <laughs> got destroyed in the freeze. These weren't like a big deal to replace, so we just bought new ones. Oh, this one's a little... <laughs> This one needs to be trained in the right direction because she's a little floppy. I don't know what I need to do, but I would rather her be more straight up and down. But yeah, Zoe went ahead and planted these. That's part of what I'm trying to get together before the party is like all of the outdoor stuff too. Just so the house and the yard looks nice for the party. There's only so much that I'm gonna be able to do, obviously. But yeah, just trying to do what we can to zhuzh up some of our landscaping and plants and stuff like that as much as we can before the party rolls around, just so everything's not looking so freaking dead. Oh, did I even show y'all? It's been kind of wet and rainy the past couple of days, but I don't think I even showed y'all the results of how I was telling you that they were gonna come and cut everything back. So they did. So this is what it's looking like. They cut all the dead parts off of this. It's just looking a little bit crazy. I don't know. We'll see how it shapes up. That one got completely deleted. This one is pretty much completely deleted, except like the roots are still in there and as you can see like there's still signs of life so I don't know this is deleted this is like okay definite signs of life the main one in the middle I'm not sure what's happening there but it's sprouting off these little babies around it so I don't know we'll see and then yeah everything is just kind of like all trimmed up it doesn't look great but at least it's like I don't know it's somewhat of an improvement this one does look a lot better though because now that these have been trimmed up around the bottom it looks a lot cleaner like these still have a good amount of you know life to them so they look pretty fine this one is the one that just looks kind of sad we're starting to make some progress with like I said just kind of getting everything cleaned up so that it'll look kind of decent when people come over for the party and then also in the backyard they trimmed up all the jasmine vines I was getting some mixed comments from you guys as far as what y'all would have recommended some people were 
were saying don't touch them they will revive themselves like don't cut them at all some other people were saying like cut them completely back and they will regrow the professional that I hired said to cut them completely back and so that's what they did they're cut too late now but this is what it looks like they trimmed them all off of the trellis and so they're cut like all the way down to here but you can see where they're starting to grow back from the roots none of them had any signs of life on the actual vines and that's what the professionals also told me that it's not gonna grow from the existing vines it's gonna regrow from the bottom up so all the vines that were all on here all looking all dead and brown they recommended to just cut those back because they said those weren't ever gonna do anything like those weren't gonna come back they pretty much chopped them all down and we will just wait for them to grow from the bottom good news is most of them are starting to have those little sprouts all of them don't have it yet but most of them do so I'm hopeful of course by the time the party rolls around in a couple weeks it's not gonna look like nothing but at least it's like cleaned up so we don't have a bunch of dead vines on here which looked really ugly and then for these plant beds here on either side of the pool I plan to just replace the agave that used to be here the roots are still under there and you can actually see where the roots are still producing life because you can see these little babies that are starting to pop up already but I really don't want to sit here and wait for a whole brand new big one to try to grow and I can't control where it pops up like you see one it's popping up off to the side over here as far as what's right under here I don't have the patience for it so I'd rather just dig it up and replace it with a fresh one to me it's not that big of a deal to just get two little new ones for here and for the other side so I'm gonna buy two fresh agave plants and have those planted ASAP and so at least that'll be looking nice for the party but as for everything else I'm not buying any replacement plants those are the only other plants that I'm gonna buy everything else we will be patient we will wait for it to grow back on its own we will see what it looks like a couple months from now those are the only two little ones I'm gonna replace what are you most excited for for your birthday party what part of the party are you most excited for the presents the presents what that's not really even part of the party mm -hmm. you have bounce house the swimming in the pool the paleta cart build a barbie boutique the barbie glam station the giant barbie box that you get to take pictures in the face painter so the face painter so i could ask her to paint like the barbie sister logo with the ponytail on my face you're gonna get the barbie logo painted on your face yeah the one with the face and the ponytail hairstyle the little silhouette logo and then what's the second thing that you're excited about the giant barbie box you're excited to take pictures in the giant barbie box yeah and i have a third one okay what's the third one it's a food option you're excited for the food yeah because the churros oh yeah the churros that we're gonna have yeah they're yummy good morning it's 7 20 in the morning on wednesday zaya has to get one of her fillings fixed so we're headed back to the dentist and what she's getting done today just the whole process of it she's gonna end up completely missing school today so no school again on monday i don't think i told y'all but she didn't have school on monday but i didn't realize that because we just got off of spring break last week was spring break so i'm thinking okay monday through friday last week no school start back the next week week on Monday was school right like spring break is just one week and so the following Monday you have school again right that's like the logical thought however I didn't realize that they did not have school on Monday like spring break kind of like extended into the next Monday so this Monday we got all ready and went all the way to school and walked up to the door and there was teachers in there because it was like a staff development day and they were like we don't have school today and I was like huh I was so confused I was like why would you not have school on the Monday after spring break. It just was so random to me. So didn't have school on Monday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today you're not going to school again because you're going to the dentist. I feel like you have not been going to school very much recently with everything that's been going on. So we've been back from the dentist for a while. Zaya is staying home from school for the rest of the day to recover. Grammy is here. Zoe's not here, she had car troubles today. So it's just me and Grammy. We're trying to start really figuring out how we're going to set up the food table display. I kind of wanted to stop and figure that out before we get too deep into the DIY aspects of it because I'm like, okay, let me just make sure of this overall concept first before we start making everything that goes with it, just in case it doesn't really 
look right. So the idea is using these boxes and crates that I have that I always use and covering them with the fabric so that it goes with the color scheme and then having like the trays of food on top. So we need this for the hot dog slash nacho, you know, the queso and the chili and stuff like that. So that'll be plugged in here, which will wrap around to having the chafing dish here that has the actual hot dogs and buns in it. And then having the nacho chips here nearby and then all the other toppings and condiments all in one spot for the hot dogs and nachos on this corner of the countertop. I think it needs to cascade all the way forward, sort of, you know, be and then you can put all the chips coming down this way. Chips in bags? Just chips, whatever container we end up with. For this I don't know what the container is. A cute, yes, a container that is still kind of on theme or whatever, but I just feel like putting it in a paper bag with all these juicy toppings that you want people to use. You saw how they were with the taco toppings. People were very chintzy with even like using a lot of the sauces and stuff. And especially if they're like, oh, I don't want to put it in a bag and it's going to be messy. I feel like okay, let's- Okay, well, we'll have the containers and a big thing of chips. You can grab your nacho container. No, I'm saying still have the chips pre-individualized, just not in a bag, okay. in a different type of container. Anyway, we'll see. We'll do that. We've got the nacho containers coming. Nachos, hot dogs, hot dog toppings, nachos. Keeping in mind, you do not need 50 of each item. We're not trying to, oh, it's 50 people, so we need 50 of every single thing. You know they're not going to eat that. If it runs out, it runs out. So however much fits on this display is how much we're going to have at a time. We could refill it, maybe, keep the extra chips in the back, but like, this will be where the the birthday cake is as like the centerpiece on this tall thing. And then we have two dozen decorated sugar cookies that we can put here and here. I need to get some sort of trays to put them on or a big tray to put in the front. Then we have another set of boxes. So then this transitions into like the sweet side. And what I'd like to do with the sweet things is I would like to take similar to these, but they're smaller, they're like an ounce. These are churros. I heard you say have the churros already dipped into the dip, but I thought the idea was having the dip separate so you can use it for pretzels and fruit as well. I will have some separate dips, but I'm gonna, for display purposes, and I'll have some that aren't in any dip, but if you just wanna grab one with dip, you'll have it. So for the churros to stand up on the display, they need to be in cups. Um, I don't think they need to be in dip at all because I think that's kind of double timing the dip in an unnecessary way. <laughs> so have the dip be separate, that way you can use the dip for churros, pretzels, or fruit, and you can grab whichever flavor of dip you want and you can dip what you wanna dip into it. So that works. The fruit thing, oh, the fruit thing is on the on yellow here. thing. Right, the fruit will go here. Pretzels on the board, fruit with the yellow thing. Dips are here, churros are here. Now, to explain this pretzel board thing, we are gonna be serving these types of like Auntie Anne type pretzels. And you see a lot at weddings and stuff where they're like, we tied the knot. So they have pretzels because pretzels are in a knot. And they have them on like this board with pegs and the pretzels are like hanging on the pegs. So I'll put inspo pics so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But we are going to be trying to DIY the board itself. So my mom bought this board, I don't know, and then the dowels to add on to make the pegs, and then we can paint it and customize it to make it go with the Malibu Barbie theme. So yeah, that just needs to be standing up, but not like that, obviously. We need to figure out a way to where it can stand up exactly where we want it to stand, but that's the idea. So yeah, obviously this doesn't quite look right because this is just a little mock-up, but y'all can kind of see the main idea of what we're going for here. And we want to add flowers and palm leaves and different things kind of in between to add extra decorations. Plus we have our signs. So we have the nacho sign, these will be painted. We need to make sure we paint them in the right color, like not the same color as what it's in front of so it doesn't blend, right? Cause if we paint this orange on top of the orange fabric, it's like this needs to be like blue. Hot dogs is orange, nachos is blue, but then you don't want pretzels to be yellow. I have to like think about this. So we can do our sign. So it's gonna be the nacho sign like this, the same type of thing for hot dogs on a little stand-up sign right here. And then churros on a stand-up sign right here in a contrasting color, cause we don't want it to blend in with the blue fabric. And then for the pretzels one, we're actually gonna like put it on top of here like that. Okay, so I figured out my color scheme of how I want all the signs painted to coordinate with everything. And then for the board, I wanna just paint it light pink and it'll say pretzels in 
hot pink. I also think it'd be nice to just have it be a solid light pink board because I might use it again in the future. I always end up using pink in a lot of my parties so we can use it for donuts, whatever. Don't worry y'all, we are not gonna be <laughs> serving these pretzels. We're not? These exact ones. <laughs> these are just the test dummies for measurement purposes. We will eat them ourselves. Half. So this is like two and a half inches over and then two and a half inches over should be right. So it's symmetrical. So mark the two and a half point and then another one from this side. And then that's like dead center. I was gonna say scoot it all down so it's more centered, but maybe you don't want to be using the bottom of it because of like how it's set up on the countertop. I feel like it's just gonna be there. So this will just be blank. Yeah. Or it goes down like this, like this, like this. And that way it feels more centered. But don't you wanna avoid trying to like avoid these cracks? Yeah, no, I'm just talking about like putting it like right here. Instead of up here, putting it right here. Two but Virgos make a pretzel board. Do we have if we do them like this, if we're not trying to like put them exactly, like if I put one there and then this one goes here, or is that too crowded? Yeah, I mean, if it fits, I just was worried about the cracks being in the way. I think you need to get a fourth pretzel out. <laughs> That's why it still needs to be it's measured because otherwise it's gonna be all helter skelter because you're measuring it with unequal pretzels. You need at least how many inches? Five and a quarter inches between each one. Let's see if that works out. Like imagine how it looks without the pretzels on the dowels. Right, so Are the dowels equally spaced? spaced? They have to be equally spaced. Anyways, we will spend the next three hours measuring these pretzels and get back to you later. down in there, and then the churro sign will be behind the C, however high we decide to make it. And we'll just see the little bottom part sticking up. So I'm gonna write on the back of this what each one of these is for. Update on the confetti. Here's what the mix is looking like so far. I think it turned out really cute. Sunglasses, palm trees, suns, flowers, the Barbie logo, and then mixing in the chunky glitter to give it that razzle dazzle. So this is what we'll be using for the DIY placemats. Y'all will see more on that later, but just wanted to show y'all how it's looking so far and we have all this we still have to peel off the rest of the orange flowers All right, so we have the little stands put together, a little bit of hot glue just to keep that steady, and then hot glue to stick it on. We're purposely making them different heights. Okay, so she found the right drill bit that's the right size to where it fits perfectly in there. So drill the hole. And we're gonna have 12 holes. We officially own a little saw, so we're not using the kitchen knife anymore, even though I think it's kind of the same thing, but I guess this is sharper and more legitimate. Putting some glue on the back just to kind of hold them in place a little bit better. These are for the confetti placemats. This is four gauge vinyl, marine vinyl. This is 54 inch wide yard, and I am going to be able to get eight pieces out of this one piece, eight placemat pieces. Each placemat has two, one on the top the one on the bottom, so I'll be able to get four placemats out of this one sheet. So what I'm trying to do, what I need to do, if I had a clear space. We can clear off this table, but this is what the confetti is for, so you can probably envision where we're going with this. Two clear pieces and the confetti sandwiched in between. Got two pieces of marine vinyl, about 13 by 18, whatever size you want. And I'm just zigzagging a stitch around it with regular sewing machine thread. It doesn't matter if the edges are completely straight because you can trim the edges. Alrighty, I finished painting our little signs. Went with white for the base. I think it turned out cute. This one doesn't have a thingy because it's going on the thingy. So it is Thursday afternoon after school and we have decided to do the beaded fringe on our Malibu Barbie t-shirts. Well, we're starting with Zaya's t-shirt first because hers is the priority and then we'll see if we want to do my matching one. Basically, all I did was I cut the sleeve into strips and then let me just show you. So taking some really 
good, really sharp fabric scissors so that you can get those good straight cuts. I'm just taking the sleeve and laying it out super flat. The first cut is in the seams. So cut it apart on this side and also cut it apart on this side. Just so you have it completely flapped open like this. Then lay it back out flat so you can just cut both sides together. And then I'm just cutting like maybe like a centimeter wide little strips going all the way up to the seam but not passing the seam. And I'm cutting through both layers at once just to make it easier and faster. Doesn't have to be super perfect because it's gonna be stretched out after anyway. This is a very old school t-shirt DIY, but I feel like it kind of goes with the Malibu Barbie thing because Malibu Barbie is really kind of like a 70s Barbie. Like it's kind of got like a retro vibe. So I feel like this retro t-shirt cut will be cute with it. So have all the strips, but then in order to put the beads on, the beads won't go over this part with the seam on it. It's like too thick right here. Probably would have been easier to cut that off first, but just cut off the little hem line so that it's just a raw edge. Do as I say not as I do cut the hem off first so that you don't have to cut it off in individual chunks like this but whatever so then if you know anything about these types of t-shirt DIYs you got to stretch it you just pull it to stretch it out and it turns into more of like a little rolled up string and that makes it look better and it also makes it skinny enough to put the beads on there stretch them all out so they're nice and stringy and then I'm debating the ones that are like right in the armpit it might be a little bulky so I'm gonna have Zaya try it on maybe and see if we need to just like cut these off right here so that it's not all like bulked up in her armpit, but we'll see. But right now, Zaya is working on putting the beads on. So we're doing pink, orange, yellow, blue, because that's the main color scheme of the party, but also this shirt has those colors in it, so it goes perfectly with the graphic on the shirt, and she's just threading them on, and then I'll go back and tie a knot at the end of all of them for her so that they obviously don't slide off. So pull on it a little bit to kind of stretch it to make it skinnier. I made it easy way so you won't have to grab beads every time you're doing one. You just grab the color beads you need for each one. You just grab a bunch of the same color beads, put them in lines, and then you don't even have to try to remember which ones to get. And this is a good little DIY for little hands and little fingers to string these beads on. So Zaya will put all the beads on and I'll tie all the knots and then we'll see how it's looking. So it's Friday, March 24th, and we have great news. I don't know if I even explained this in any of the vlogs so far, but I actually reached out to a couple of brands to see if they would be willing to kind of sponsor the party and just gift a few items. Perks of being an influencer, just, you know, full transparency, since I will be doing a lot of content about this party. That is free promotion for any brand or business who wants to get involved. So sometimes businesses will trade their product or their service in exchange for giving them a big shout out in all of my content. Normally, Normally I don't do that, I've never done it before. Every party that I've thrown, everything that you've ever seen me do as far as parties has all been, you know, I bought everything with my own money. I just did it the old fashioned way. Paid everyone, contacted everyone just like a normal person. I never really went out of my way to try to set up any deals like that. But this time I was like, why not just try? Why not just ask? I mean, what's the worst that can happen? They can say no if they're not interested and that's totally fine, then I'll just buy it. But I wanted to kind of reach out to a few bigger brands not like anything crazy but I did reach out to Barbie themselves because I was like it's a Barbie party maybe Barbie wants to get involved we've worked with Barbie in the past for brand deals and stuff so I was like it's worth the shot to just reach out to them and see if they're interested in being involved in the party in some kind of way so good news is they are interested and I'm very excited because that's just so cool to have Barbie Mattel the Barbie company be involved in this Barbie themed party so so I'm super excited and thankful that they actually answered and actually want to gift us some items. They told me to put together a list of stuff that I want. So I am currently doing that. The main thing is it's gonna be super nice for them to provide everything for the Build a Barbie Boutique table. So all the Barbie dolls and like little clothes and accessories and stuff like that for the kids to, you know, choose their Barbie and choose their outfit and take it home for the party favor. 
I think that's the main stuff that they will be gifting us. Plus I'm just kind of looking and seeing like what other Barbie branded stuff would be cute to have or to give out to the kids. Cause obviously I want to use this to give back. If Barbie is going to send me a bunch of free stuff, I'm going to use it to give out to the kids so they can take it home. I did also reach out to a couple of other brands who have done collaborations with Barbie. So they have Barbie branded products. I haven't heard back from anyone else yet. <laughs> so we'll see about that. But hey, the main people, Barbie, Mattel themselves, they answered us. So that's the main one. I'm excited. In the meantime, I got another Amazon delivery. I ordered. TikTok made me buy this, a pink bubble bazooka gun. If you haven't seen it, it shoots out a bazillion bubbles at a time. We have like a bubble machine, but it's like not as cool as this. This is pink. So our other one is like not pink, not on theme. So I thought this would be cool to have in the backyard for the kids to play with by the pool. Again, hoping that the weather is nice enough to actually swim. I'm really just hoping that it's nice enough to be outside. Like if it's not quite hot enough to where people really want to get in the pool, that's fine. Like we can play with bubbles. We can just sit by the pool, dip your feet in the pool. Like it doesn't have to be a full swimming pool party, but I just want it to be, you know, decent weather to where it's comfortable to be outside, play outside. Cause we're going to have the bubbles. We're going to have the bounce house. We're going to have the popsicle stand outside. Like at least, you know, 50% of the party is like an outdoor party. So I'm really hoping for good weather so we can at the very least play with bubbles and stuff. Look at this. So you dip it in the bubble solution like this and it blows bubbles out of all these holes. And I can even like cricket like the Barbie logo on here or something or just like customize it. I know it comes with like stickers. It comes with all this bubble liquid and like a little battery. And then it comes with like these stickers, which just say bazooka bubble gum. But I can make my own stickers with the cricket to make it more on bean. The other thing in here, I ordered these two mirrors for Barbie's beauty bar, the glam station, which again, it'll be nice if Barbie can send us some Barbie themed glam stuff for it, but we'll see. But these are just like little pink heart shaped mirrors. These were the best ones I could find on Amazon without spending a million dollars on it. I feel like they're Barbie-ish enough. They're not exactly on theme because they're kind of like this vintage style, but like, I feel like it looks very like little girl's playhouse-ish, right? Like that's cute, right? For the Barbie glam station. So I got two of them because the glam station is gonna have two seats. It's later in the afternoon after school now. I went to pick up Zaya from school. Normally my dad picks her up, but my parents are actually on vacation right now. So I went to go pick her up and we stopped by Wally World after school because I knew that I wanted to look at what kind of shoes they had because Zaya needed like some cute sandals to go with her birthday outfit. And then also my bestie, Sadie, her daughter, Alea, turns four, like the week before Zaya's birthday. Their birthdays are really close. And Alea is having a Disney princess party. And Sadie's doing a lot of cute princess stuff for her birthday. So I wanted to go ahead and grab her present. Alea will be dressing up as Princess Tiana. So I got her a lot of Princess Tiana toys. And it's kind of like a princess dress up tea party. So I got her a princess tea set and a Tiana doll and all the Tiana dress up stuff that hopefully she doesn't already have. And of course had to get the princess gift bag to put it in. So I just wanted to go ahead and get that out the way because I know I'm gonna be very distracted with all of Zaya's birthday stuff. I don't wanna forget about Alea's birthday. So I'm glad that I got this done. I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything in the bag and set it aside. The party's not this weekend, it's next weekend. And then Zaya's birthday is the following weekend after that. But it's good that I already have this good to go. So yeah, like I said, besides that stuff, I also wanted to look at shoes for Zaya. We ended up getting these pink rhinestone jellies. They feel very barbelicious. Zaya really likes jellies. <laughs> Why would you do that? So these might be her birthday shoes. I don't know. We also got these rhinestone sandals, very blingy. They have like a light pink background to them, but they read more like silver overall when you wear them. They're very birthday-ish, but they doesn't really like go with her outfit. I don't know. Honestly, these might 
might be just because I don't know if either of these are really gonna look right with her birthday outfit, but we'll see. We ended up finding just a random outfit that she just wanted, not birthday related, but just a little t-shirt and a little skirt to go with it because it was cute. And then while we were looking around, I came across these Barbie biker shorts. It's actually a double set of these little <laughs> athletic shorts and biker shorts, which again, at this point, I'm just buying random stuff because I really don't know <laughs> like what exactly Zaya's gonna wear for her party. I have multiple different things that like don't really go together. So I'm just buying a lot of options and then we'll kind of piece it together. And whatever she doesn't wear for her party, it's still good clothes just to just have because Zaya just likes Barbie stuff and it's still just gonna be good for the summer. So whatever. On that same note, I happen to see in the like women's or juniors, but like the sizes that fit me, they have these Barbie sweatpants. So of course I just had to get them because am I gonna wear this to the party? No, maybe I'll wear it the morning of the party or the night of the party. <laughs> just, I don't know why I bought these. I don't need these for the party, but they're Barbie and I bought them and they're my size and they were the last one. So I felt like I needed to buy them. For the party, I had told myself, I told myself, I was like, Raven, you already have a pink swimsuit. It's not Barbie, but it's, it's pink. It's close enough to the right color. You don't need to buy a whole nother pink swimsuit, but I did anyway, because this is more of the exact shade of Barbie pink. And I also think this swimsuit is a little bit more of an appropriate cut. My other swimsuits are a little bit more skimpier. So for a family friendly pool party, I wanted something with a little bit more coverage. So this is more, you know, it's like this. It's like a velvety texture, velour, and then just the matching little bikini bottoms, which I don't know, you might think that this is still pretty skimpy, but like a lot of my bikinis are very cheeky and under booby and stuff. So this one hopefully has a little bit more coverage to it. And it's just the exact, like this is Barbie pink. This is the exact color scheme for the Barbie party. So I was like, I can't pass it up, gotta get it. I actually got myself from the little girl section so this was the little skirt that I got for Zaya. It's just like a simple little thing with shorts underneath, but it came in a bunch of different colors and I bought myself one in black. This, I fit a little girl size large. So this is literally like the little kids brand at Walmart, but like it's cute, like a cute little simple athletic skirt. I don't know, I thought it was cute. I wanted one for myself. So I got that and it was only $7. So if you can fit kids sizes, check out the kids stuff at Walmart. They have some nice little basics. and then they have these plastic plates, bowls, and cups that you've probably seen at Walmart, like good for like kids to use for everyday use. And they're like a nice thick plastic and they're only 50 cents a pop. I know Target has a similar line of stuff. So I ended up buying 10 of these pink cups because I thought they would be good to cricketize and put like a little custom Zaya Barbie logo on each one and give it out as party favors or just kind of have them at the party. We're doing like a mix of the Barbie pink fuchsia and like other shades of pink all throughout the party. So I felt like these would be fine. I think whatever logo I put on them will be more of this color and that might look cute. I don't know, they were only 50 cents each. So I just grabbed a stack of them. We'll see what we end up doing with those. And then I saw this hot pink Barbie pink beach bag. It's not Barbie branded. It's just plain, no branding on it. It was like 20 bucks. It's actually a nice like sturdy beach bag. But my thought process was I could slap the custom logo on here with the Cricut and then I thought it would be so cute to use this as, it's kind of hard to explain, but like on our Build a Barbie boutique, we need like containers. Like here's all the dolls to choose from. Here's all the clothes to choose from. This would be cute to like put the Barbie dolls in on the table and use it as like part of the, because it's like Malibu Barbie, beach, pool. The dolls are being displayed in a beach bag. You'll just have to see. If, if you don't get the vision, you'll see later. Lastly, I got two of these just plain serving trays because surprisingly, I don't own anything of this like shape and size as far as just plain serving trays. And I need these for the special decorated sugar cookies that we're gonna have on display with the birthday cake. I needed something to put the cookies on. So these are a good staple, essential, entertaining piece that I know I will use time and time again. So I'm glad that I got these. They were like $12 each. And that is our Walmart haul. 
All right, so here's where we're at with the outfit. So we started putting the beads on. We have one side of the sleeve beads done. The shirt itself is a little big and baggy. So like I was saying about mine, like having it tied up in some type of way or cropped or something would make it cuter. That's the little white pleated skirt. I'm still not too sure about the white skirt. Even if we tie dye it, I just don't know if that's the vibe. The shoes actually aren't bad as far as like, I wasn't sure about the color. Like the color isn't the problem. It's not giving Malibu Barbie birthday deluxe 3000. I just would have been buying random stuff that like doesn't really go together. Like it's all on theme. So we have all these individual pieces, the glasses, the shirt, the skirt, the shoes. It's like, in theory, we're kind of getting somewhere if you imagine it with the cute hairstyle and stuff. I think the shirt and the skirt are like just looking too big and baggy. We gotta figure something else out. Okay, I went rummaging around Zaya's closet to see about some different directions that we can go in. Is it a denim skirt? Is it a tutu? Is it hot pink shorts, denim shorts? I don't know, let's try some other stuff. Okay, so looking at it now, I'm thinking this skirt could be cute or the tutu. Let's try the tutu on, just put it on over your shorts. Okay, so here's like a tutu look, which I think is already an improvement from the white skirt. So this is already a lot cuter, I think. So maybe a tutu is the way to go. Not sure about the shoes still. I mean, I guess they could be fine. They look pretty Barbie-ish. Yeah, that could work. How do you feel about this outfit? Do you like it? Do you think it's cute or do you want to wear it? I think it's cute and I should wear it. Do you like it better than the white skirt? Okay, let's try on the skirt with the little daisies on it just to see. Okay, so this is not, these are actually shorts. I thought it was a skirt, first of all. Second of all, the way it's fitting is not what I expected. Cute in theory, cute design, but it's just not fitting quite right. They could be cute though, so never mind on those. I think the denim is gonna be just too boring, like a denim skirt or denim shorts, I, I'm sure it would look cute, but I feel like that's just really boring for a birthday girl outfit. I think the tutu is definitely the way to go. This is just some random tutu to that she already had. It does have like a marker mark on it. I had her just flip it to the back so you don't really see it. I mean, we could still use it, but I'm also gonna shop around and see if I can find like a better similar one. Okay, it is Monday, 27th. We are continuing to work on the party details. We're kind of finishing up like last smaller details. And one thing that I realized that I wanted is some sort of signage for our two main stations that we're gonna have in here. So this is the Build a Barbie Boutique. And I would love to have something cute that says Build a Barbie Boutique right here. And then also something for the Barbie's Beauty Bar Glam Station. So we did get in contact with a local company that does those big wooden arches with like custom vinyl work on it and stuff like how I had for my resort party. And so the lady from the company suggested putting shelves on it, which is very similar to our inspo pick that I can pop up on the screen here. But I need to figure out like exactly how tall it needs to be. So if it's like a thing that goes down to the floor and then pops up behind the table, I think six foot arch is the right height. If we slide it behind the table and just have the top of the arch pop it up. And then if it has shelves, attached to it then the shelves would need to be maybe at like the three and a half foot mark have one shelf the thing is i don't know exactly what we're gonna have on the table and i'm also just thinking about like it's little kids <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little kid grabbing my stuff that I want for my Barbie. I guess they can reach it. And also, do we want the kids to be able to grab everything? Maybe not. So maybe there's a little bit of a higher shelf that has stuff. I think just leaving a good amount of space for whatever is table level, just so we have space underneath. Because I saw <laughs> this bag at Walmart, I already showed you guys, and I thought it would be cute to use it as a container with this table. So we have all these little stands. We could put little accessories, display little accessories on it. I also have this thingy. We also bought these little thingies. Obviously, I'm not gonna put it like that, but just so you get an idea of like how we could display all the little things. But then for the Barbie dolls themselves, I thought it would be cute to have them in a beach bag. I'm torn on if I want the kids to be able to grab an open Barbie, like not in the box, and grab the clothes and put the clothes on the Barbie. Or do you just wanna get a new fresh Barbie in the box and the clothes, you know what I mean? Like, is it like shopping or is it dressing? Shopping would be easier for us to achieve because then we don't have to sit there and like open up all the dolls and everything. Also, I feel like if it's dressing, that's just chaotic. Yeah, 
I was running through it in my mind, like it's gonna be a bunch of like six year olds. Just grabbing stuff it's and. It's gonna be little pieces, little shoes and little clothes. And I feel like it's just gonna like. And we could have like little clothes sets. Yeah, the way the clothes come, like the ones that I picked out, they're like little packs like this with like a little hanger on the top. Like it's all wrapped into a little pack. And then obviously the Barbies are in their box. So I was thinking like if the Barbies are still in their box, then like, you could have a whole bunch of boxed Barbies in this bag poking out. And then like little packs of clothes laid out and little things, little merch. But it's like grab a tote bag. Tote bags are easy. Shopping bag. Yeah. Pick a Barbie, pick a whatever, and, and you take that home for your party favorite. So yeah, maybe just like two shelves. One that's like high up, like four feet is like here. One shelf at four feet from the ground. One shelf at four feet from the ground, one shelf at five feet from the ground, and then the top of the arch is six feet. Yeah. And we can, like you said, kind of use those shelves more so for like display, decoration, whatever. Mm -hmm. And the stuff that we really want the kids to grab is mostly down here. We're going to Hobby Lobby to get supplies for our DIY. They don't have even different shades of pink, actually. I think the one I have is honestly fine. Grabbing some pieces of foam board because we're gonna do some DIY surfboards. So I'm gonna get four of these, which is all they have, so cool. Here is our finished pretzel board, painted it pink, glued on the little words, and we have this metal stand. I think it's like framed portrait holder type thing, or maybe you could put a book on it. I don't really know, but my mom had it and it works perfectly to hold this up. So there's that. Also, if you guys need more of a step-by-step, all-in-one tutorial about how to make this, I am gonna be doing a blog post about it. So if you go to my website, go to my blog, it'll have pictures and step-by-step -step instructions. More painting. We are customizing these little thingies I got from Target to match the color scheme. So you know they have to be pink stripes, not sage green stripes. So we're just painting over it with acrylic paint. There we go, officially Barbie-ified. I think it's cute. They're not perfect, but nobody's gonna be looking at it that close. So you're only gonna be looking at it from like this distance. I think it's fine. Okay, we are attempting to make Barbie surfboard party props. This is my sketch. We're gonna make two surfboards, a bigger one and a smaller one. One's gonna have the Barbie head logo, one's gonna have the Barbie word logo, hopefully. I have a concept that I'm making up off the top of my head. Hopefully it works. We have our supplies. We're using foam board as our main backing material so it's like sturdy and we're just gonna wing it. All right, so I cut a template on just Zaya's craft paper. I just freehanded the general shape, like folded in half, did it folded so that it would be symmetrical, cut it out. So this is our big one. And then if we just transfer this onto the foam board and use an X-Acto knife to cut it out, but then we also have to cut out the same thing out of the paper. It's a little hard to cut it like super smooth, but I feel like it's fine. It's not gonna be perfect. You're nervous? I'm nervous. <laughs> About It'll what? Fall apart. Foam board taped together. Now let's lay our paper template on top. Unfortunately, we cannot fold the foam board in half to cut it. Our template should help make it pretty symmetrical. Okay, so we're currently working on the pieces to the second surfboard, just cutting out pieces of wrapping paper, but we finished the first one. I think it turned out super cute. So this is all wrapping paper. I used the Cricut to cut out the Barbie logo. Zoe cut out the stripes and it's all just glued together with a glue stick. Just a good old Elmer's washable school glue. I am going to post a TikTok with more details on exactly how we did this step by steps if you guys are interested check out my tiktok so the other thing we finalized today is the signs for the barbie beauty bar and the barbie boutique we're definitely going to get those wooden arches and i needed to make a graphic for what they're going to say so i just did it on canva well i used a mix of photoshop to kind of customize the logo image and just tweak it for how i needed it and then i brought up this other font on canva and just kind of put it together on canva 
Canva. So we have the Barbie Beauty Bar, and then we also have Zaya's Barbie Boutique. Originally, I was calling it Build a Barbie or Build a Barbie Boutique, but you're not really building a Barbie because we've decided that it's gonna be more so like you're just shopping. Like you grab a Barbie, you grab an outfit, you put it in your bag, you take it home. You're not necessarily like dressing the Barbie and putting it all together because that just seems a little too chaotic. So it's more like you're shopping at the Barbie Boutique, so it's not Build a Barbie. So I thought Zaya's Barbie Boutique made more sense for the sign. I put that together today, sent it over to the lady who is doing the signs. I assume she is going to do a vinyl sticker situation. And we told her that we wanted one of the signs to be teal with pink lettering and the other sign is going to be orange with pink lettering, I think. Just so that everything is not all super pink, pink, pink. We do wanna incorporate the other colors from the color scheme, so I think that'll look cute. Okay, another DIY. I bought these plastic like kids cups at Walmart, 50 cents a pop. So I got 10 of them because that's just how many they had. I might get more because we are expecting 15 to 20 kids, but I also don't think that every single kid will really care to have a cup. We have some little boys and stuff and some really young kids. But anyway, my idea was to logoify them and customize them with the custom Come On Zaya Let's Go Party logo that I created, which we are already using on the Paletta cart, popsicle cart. It's gonna have a big one of these on it. So for my Ravens Resort party, I ended up cutting out a lot of logos and just putting logos on every little thing. So I wanted to do something like this. I did a test run, which it, it worked out great. I think it's cute, but I only had like a little scrap of this vinyl and I was like, it's okay, I'll buy some more. This particular vinyl is very hard to get your hands on. So I needed to find a different option. We came across this cold color change, cold activated permanent vinyl. So it changes from light pink to hot pink, apparently, when you put something cold on it. And they show it being used like on a cup on here. So I'm wondering if it'll work. The normal color that it is, is not a great contrast with the cup itself, but if it turns hot pink, it could be a cool effect where like it's kind of hard to see, but then when you put the drink in it, then it comes alive and then you can see it because it's hot pink. That's kind of the idea. I've never used this before. I don't know how well it works. I don't know if it's one of those things where like you put a cold drink in the cup and it's like not cold enough and it doesn't really work. You have to put like a freaking ice cube directly on it to get it to work. That's what I'm worried about. But the only way we're gonna know is if we try. I'm gonna cut one out, test it out, see how it goes. If it doesn't work or it doesn't look good, I do have just regular old hot pink vinyl. It's not holographic like this one, but I think it's still cute and it definitely like goes with the theme. So this is our backup plan, but I wanna test the color changing one. And that'll be a really cute party favor for the kids to also take home, especially if the color changing part works. So as you can see, after I took the label off, there's already a line of demarcation from where like, you can see where the part was like exposed to the open air versus covered up. So I'm not sure about that, but let's see. I'm gonna cut one out, stick it on, and then we'll see. Okay, we have a cup. We have one logo cut out on transfer tape. I'm not gonna be extremely precise, just eyeball it. I was worried it wasn't gonna have like good contrast, but it pretty much reading as white, which is cute. It goes with the color scheme. Now, let's see if we just put water. The water out of the fridge is cold, but it's not like ice cold. It is making the outside of the cup cold-ish. Now, if we put ice in it, this is what I was worried about. Like how cold does it have to be? That's like a normal cup of ice water. Oh. <gasps> That's like where the ice is kind of like touching the side of the cup. Okay, there it goes. Oh, and it actually gets pretty dark. That's cool and it kind of gives like a little tie-dye effect when it's like halfway done. Look, Zaya. Color changing stickers on the cups. It goes from kind of like white to hot pink. Okay, so it works. At least with ice in it, we know it works. I'm not sure if I would have left it with just the cold water. Maybe it would have just taken longer. It definitely works the best on the part where like the ice is like touching it because the ice is floating towards the top. It's not like down here. But overall, I think it's like a cool effect. You think we should do all the cups like this? Okay. 